inside of Vinci 3D, we can actually speed up or slow down the animation, and we can actually cut some of the animation out completely. So if we take a look really quick at the Honeycombs animation here, we can see exactly what this looks like. Now this is the default full animation. Now inside the settings, if we scroll down a little bit, we are going to see the animation speed and the animation range. So the speed, for example, if I put this on a three, let's change that to three, I click on play again, we can see just how much faster that is, okay? But let's say, for example, you did not want to see all the honeycombs right here. Maybe you wanna cut that part out of your animation. Well, let's change this back to a one. And for the animation range, by default, we're gonna have this little knob all the way to the left and this little knob all the way to the right. Now what that means is that's gonna be the full animation that you're seeing right now. Well, if I cut off the beginning here by sliding this over, let's say halfway, and I click on play again, we're gonna see it kind of skips that whole first part and goes straight to the honeycombs being lifted up off of my logo. So you can play with this here and choose when you want the animation to actually begin. Okay, so we can see the major difference there that we have. So that's a way to customize the animation. If you don't like a particular part of the animation of one of our templates, you can easily cut that part out. Inside of Vinci 3D, we can adjust the light, the light intensity, and the light color. So right now I'm looking at a template here, and on the far right hand side, I have selected lights. Now when I do that, we have this little light graph here where we can kind of turn this around and we can choose lights in the front, to the right, to the left, to the top, and to the bottom. And of course, over here to the back as well. And you kind of drag this around. Now, what I can do here is for one, as I, we look at our animation here, we can see we have some light coming down from the left. We have a shadow over here. Well, we can change how all of that looks. So if I select this light here, for example, and when I select that, I am targeting the top left of the front. And now when I change my intensity, we can see the difference that that makes and how it shines down. So I can adjust this to where I want it. And now I can select, let's say the top right of the front. And when I change that, we can see the difference it's making. So we can kind of turn this around and play with all the different lights and how it's shining down on our animation to make it look just the way that we want it. And then of course, we don't even have to use a white light. I can click on the white here and we can make this a red light or a black light where it shines down kind of a red tint instead of a white tint. And you can do that for each individual light bulb. So as we can see, all I did was change that particular light bulb. So if we head back over here to my front, if I select these and I make all these red as well, we'll start to see that my light is really changing to a red color instead of a white color. So I come in here and I change all of this and you can see that red tint is starting to come in from our light. Okay, so a pretty cool feature inside of the software where you can change the angles of your shadows, the brightness, and the overall projectile of the entire light inside of your animation.